going on guys? This is Sean Cotter back with another video and today I'm going to break down 10 tips for cutting kids hair. Uh, I actually recorded this video, one of my friends, longtime friend, told me I could cut his son's hair. This is his first haircut uh, for a transformation video. Unfortunately, due to how difficult it is to cut a kid and with them sitting still and moving around and uh, trying to record that, the footage isn't the best for a tutorial, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to teach you guys my top 10 tips uh, to cut kids hair. So. Let's get right into it. Number one, face them towards the mirror or towards the TV. Uh, either way, guys, my number one thing to do is to turn them towards the mirror. That way I can look at them off the mirror. Uh, you can see right now he's turning his head. So if, he, if you see him catching his eyes on a TV or in our shop, we can go to YouTube and play anything on the TV. Uh, I'll try to put something on to keep his attention. But if you can keep his head still and focus on something, that's gonna give you your best results. So in my case, I like to turn them towards the mirror. I can have them look at me off of the mirror uh, and they can kind of watch what we're doing and that'll help make them a lot more comfortable. My number two tip, guys, is to make sure that they're comfortable. You guys wanna make sure that mom and dad's nearby. Uh, put them on a booster seat if you need it. Make sure the cape's set up, uh, the neck strip and the cape, uh, nice and clean so that it's not gonna itch them. Uh, just make sure they're ready to get the haircut before you get started. So make sure you got them turned the right way, get everything set up, make sure they're comfortable, and you'll be good to go. And number three, guys, know your tools and use the quiet ones. If you saw what I just did right there, I held the clipper down so he could see it. If he wanted to touch it, I would have let him touch it. I know that my gold FX aren't very loud. Um, some of my other clippers are louder. And just the noise itself can set those clients up. So. If you notice, I showed him the clipper. If he wanted to touch it, I would have let him touch it. I'll take one swipe and let him feel what that feels like. Remember guys, this is his first haircut. Uh, so just wanna make sure he's comfortable with that clipper. I'm gonna go real slow and make sure that I'm not gonna snag any hair, um, you know, and look at him. He's wiggling all over the place. So you guys just have to take it, uh, just work with him, work along with uh, how they're moving and just get the job done. And guys, on the same note of using a quiet clipper, make sure you're using a trimmer that's not too sharp. Um, or too loud or you know make sure your shears work well and they're not going to pull the hair all of this goes into the comfort of the client and of course as a kid if you pull their hair if the clipper snags if it's too loud in their ear you know these are all things that can really turn them off to the haircut so uh, just make sure you guys are using the right tools uh, to make sure that they're the most comfortable and nothing scary and you guys should be just fine all right guys so my next tip is don't use certain words like hurt cut etc um, I really try to watch this. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos on this. Uh, the worst thing I've ever seen happen is I get a kid that sits down for his first haircut and then mom walks up and she says, make sure you don't move. He'll cut your ear off. And I mean, as soon as she let that out of her mouth, the kid started freaking out. I, I end up not cutting his hair. Um, but guys, make sure you use words that are going to make them feel better. Um, like I said, let them feel the clipper. Uh, you know, try not to say, oh, it's not going to hurt or, you know, I don't want to cut your ear or, you know, pull your hair out or anything that's kind of damaging uh, or harmful to them. You want to make it sound fun like, you know, hey, it's just a little tickle or it's just a little buzz by your ear, a little hum by your ear. Uh, whatever it is, you know, just try to make them comfortable. Uh, try not to use scary words and think about what a kid fears coming into a haircut. Uh, being cut, having their hair pulled out, um, you know, blood or anything like that. Um, so just try not to use those words and, and make them feel more comfortable uh, as you go into the haircut. All right, guys, so I don't have great footage of the rest of the haircut. Uh, like I said, cutting the kids kind of tough. Uh, so I had him turn towards the mirror the whole time. And like I said, I wasn't even going to use this footage. Um, so just going to speed this side up. We're not really doing a tutorial here. Uh, but I got some more gems for the other side. Uh, but like you guys can see, I'm just taking my time, pacing myself. I'll stand and talk to him for a little bit, explain what I'm doing, make sure he's good. He's got to yawn and stretch and move. And uh, you know, we just got to take it at the pace that he's going to let us take it. So I blocked off a little extra time uh, to make sure that I could get this haircut done. And uh, we're just going to take it at his pace and get it done. All right, my number five tip you can see my man right there struggling with that neck strip. Just be mindful of the neck strip and the cape. Uh, one of the number one things that can bother your client, especially when it's a kid, is hair getting down in that uh, that cape. Uh, and sometimes those neck strips and you know little kids' necks are really small. Uh, so sometimes you take that neck strip and you put the cape around it and it kind of crinkles up on their neck and that will actually really cause some itching on their neck. So you can see I, I was paying attention the whole haircut. I could tell that he was really itching that. 
you know, so I let him know, hey, let me finish this side and we are going to pop off the next strip, um, clean your neck up real good. We'll make sure you're not itching anymore. Again, we're just trying to make him feel good about it. Uh, so we took off the next strip, put the cape back on. Um, for the rest of this, we're not going to have really fine hair. So I just went ahead and put the cape on without a neck strip and just tried to eliminate any more itching that we can have the rest of this you know, haircut. All right, tip number six, be gentle. And I know this kind of goes without saying, but as you're cutting, you just have to remember that it's a kid and the slightest little things might bother him. Um, so for example, on the top of his head right there, I knew that I was gonna cut a lot of it off. Uh, I could have combed that all the way out and really pulled on his hair and caused him a lot of discomfort. Uh, but again, thinking about what I'm doing, trying not to cause him any uh, discomfort or pain, I just kind of pulled it up the best I could uh, and went ahead and cut it off. And now I'm going to really saturate the hair and make sure that my comb, I'm going to use a wide tooth comb, make sure that I can comb through that okay without you know pulling his hair and, and hurting him. So be gentle when you're using your clippers, when you're using your trimmers. Keep in mind that they're moving around, so you guys just really need to take your time and be patient, you know, and just make sure you're not too rough on them. So. All right, for tip number seven, make it fun. Don't be afraid to be silly. And I know that's a funny thing. You know, a lot of these barbers, a lot of guys, uh, you know, want to be cool all the time. And you know, keep in mind, man, you got a little four or five year old in your chair. Just have fun with them. One of the most things you can do is make this a fun experience. Uh, and that is going to really help you. So you guys will see me joke with them or uh, man, I'll ask them about whatever, whatever they got going on, school or what, what they're into, or you know, I might tell them something silly about myself to make them laugh. And, you know, it's all about making them like you and feel comfortable. Uh, so you just got to remember it's a kid in your chair, make it a fun experience, uh, get them laughing, act silly, make funny faces if you have to, and uh, it'll all help you uh, help get the job done easier. You know, if you can keep them looking at you because you're sticking your tongue out at them or whatever it might be. Uh, that's going to make the end result much better and make the uh, make the whole haircut easier on you as well and easy on them. For my eighth tip, avoid hair on the face at all costs. Uh, I'll tell you guys a story real quick. I had a kid, he was probably three years old, and, and literally the worst kid getting a haircut I've ever seen. On the internet, on YouTube, in my shop, anywhere. Um, he was the absolute worst kid and he never really got any better uh, and so his dad cut his hair at home a couple times and they booked on me again and I was just dreading it and when he came in he told me that finally his kid has his son has told him that he didn't like hair on his face and that's why he hated the haircut so whenever I'm cutting the top I always try to make sure to tilt my hand back uh, to make sure that that hair doesn't fall right on their face and I don't know how you guys feel about cutting length uh, wet or dry, but I definitely feel like when you cut length on top dry uh, It's just gonna poof hair out and it's gonna land all over their face So for me, I like to cut it really wet. It'll almost even stick on and land on my glove uh, When I cut it and you know again keeping hair off their face They're not gonna be itching, you know, keep them as clean as possible in the neck area uh, and I think that's something that can make it a lot more pleasant for uh, your, your younger kid cuts so definitely try to keep the hair off their face uh, Stay away from their eyes and uh, I think you'll be much more successful All right, so tip number nine, don't do too much. You guys gotta remember that these are kids' haircuts. If it's their first haircut, you really don't know how they're gonna act. Uh, so don't swing for the fences, you know? If you know the kid and you know they sit well, uh, and you've cut them a few times, then that's when you can start doing some, some crazy stuff. Uh, but you know, guys, honestly, if you just look at this haircut, this is not really an Instagram-worthy uh, or a tutorial haircut I would wanna post. You know, it's basically a four on the sides. Uh, his hair isn't really developed yet, so it's kind of thin. Uh, it just doesn't blend very well, and you guys know that if you cut kids' hair. But with that being said, you know you're going to get your parents that come in that want to skin fade with a hard part and all that, and you just have to really let them know that you know, hey, let's let's stick with something a little more basic. Uh, once I get to know your your kid and, and they're used to haircuts, you know that we can get outside the box a little bit. But definitely don't be afraid to you know just put out a haircut on a kid. Make sure they're comfortable first. Uh, you guys get out here trying to do designs and put a razor on a kid and do stuff like that. You know, you're just almost asking for it. So this was his first haircut. We kind of bounced ideas off his dad. We decided to do kind of a messy top with, you know, just, just short on the sides, but not too short. Uh, so we just did a four and tapered it out uh, at the back and sides and, and cut the top down. So guys, don't do too much. Keep it simple. Get the haircut done and you can develop from there. Uh, you know, the more you get to know the kid, the more they're used to getting haircuts. So that'll save you a lot of trouble. 
All right, guys, so for my 10th tip, when it comes to lineups and the tickle part, that's what I call it. Uh, my biggest suggestion for you guys, uh, you know, most of the time in the barbershop, we're going to be dealing with little boys. Uh, and, and I don't mean any offense to anybody if that, you know, not, not targeting this towards girls, but I'll just tell you how I handle little boys. I'll tell them, all right, you know, you ready for the tickle part? Ah, like, oh, yeah, I guess. And I'll, I'll kind of challenge them. How tough are you? Oh, I'm tough. All right, well, let's see. Let's see if you can do this. I'm going to go around your ears. You got to be real still. Let's see how tough you can be. And if you don't let it tickle you and then, you know, as a little boy, you're like, oh, I can do this. Um, and so that's that's always how I approach it. I'll see it, ask him, you know, how tough are you? Let's see if you can handle this. And it's kind of a challenge for him. Just challenge him to sit still, tell him it's the last part. I do like to do this last usually. I know that's kind of a common topic. Some people say line them up first while they're, um, you know, kind of excited to get the haircut and, and before they're over it. Uh, but usually I'll ask them, hey, we gotta do the tickle part. You wanna do it now? You wanna do it at the end? Most of the time they'll tell us at the end, so. Then you can tell them, hey, this is the last part. If you can sit still for this last part, we'll be done. And you can see I'm taking my time. I'm talking to him until he's ready. Then I'm going to sit him down. All right, you ready? Yep. We're going to go around the ear, then do the other side, and we'll finish up. So, again, guys, it all comes back to making sure they're comfortable. These are my slimline pros. They're not too sharp. Uh, you know, I've talked him into it, made him feel good about it. And uh, just as a whole, we just want to make them comfortable, use tools that will make them comfortable. Uh, talk to them on their level and make them have a good time and, and you guys will have no problem getting these haircuts done. All right, guys, we're going to put some product in here. You guys can see the end result. I hope these tips helped. Uh, if you guys caught anything from this video, just make sure these kids are comfortable. You know, don't go, don't go too crazy and get out of your comfort zone and end up in a situation that you can't fix. Um, but they're just kids. They just need a haircut. Just get them a haircut, get them done. You can see my man likes it right there. Uh, but I hope these tips help, guys. If you haven't subscribed, I got more content like this coming. Got some more dope tutorials coming. And uh, throw me a thumbs up if you guys liked it. We'll catch you next time. You guys aren't subscribed to my channel? Make sure you click this link right here. If you want to check out some more content from me? Check out this video right here. Appreciate it.